Niklas is asking, uh, is there a good way to enroll to Intune from MDT using an enrollment manager account? I'm assuming you refer to as part of the deployment process. I haven't tried that setup. What I haven't been working on quite a lot lately is, is the following where you, not that one, but when you have sequences um, actively deploying into autopilot, I think I have it right here also. And you allow the sequence to do that registration. And it's not the client side that's doing the registration. This is just the PowerShell script that sends information about the device to a web service. And there is then a web service picking up the requests and uploading that information to Intune so that the machine then have a chance to uh, be enrolled at the next reboot or when you suspect and generalize the machine in there. Something I've been testing uh, quite recently is actually to do that a little bit earlier to as soon as the machine comes up in the specialized pass, force the enrollment that way. And those initial testing works uh, pretty okay so far, but uh, I will certainly update my blog post when I have that in place. I can see that it's working reliably. For now, if you wanted to do anything in MDT in terms of um, and rolling automatically with MDT, I would recommend to read up on this post here that we created for this particular scenario, uh, this one here, because that one goes through that particular uh, scenario using a deployment solution to deploy machines into autopilot. So this is almost like autopilot for existing uh, devices, except that you don't previously download the profile as a JSON file and stage it on the hard drive. Instead, you use the more control method where I actually tell a service to go ahead and, all right, register the device and let me know when it actually has an assignment. And then you're allowed to go yeah, continue. So it gives you some better control rather than hoping that the dynamic group will pick up a, a group tag or something like that. Plus you get some additional logging as well, which is useful for troubleshooting. So something like that and when it comes to permissions uh, i would rather use an app registration for those uh, enrollments so I, I recommend setting up one that gives access to the graph api and gives the needed permissions to do what it's supposed to do only and then you use one of the, the multiple methods to access that, for example, using a secret key or something in your scripts. But the reason I recommend these server-side scripting is because you can hide them on the server and you only expose that particular piece that actually does the um, sending of the hardware hash from the client up to the web service and then up in, in, uh, in this case, into. Uh, Niklas had a follow-up comment to his previous question on MDT deployment, and that was basically, okay, what about hybrid joint scenarios? Um, for that type of scenarios, if you I mean, you can still still do it. But it all comes down on how, in that case, having set up autopilot also for uh, hybrid Azure AD join and enrolled in that way. Not sure how much the might be easier to actually go if you're deploying them on premise anyway. You might as well want to join the local Active Directory first and then have an automatic enrollment policy kicking in from that end that enrolls the machines into Intune. It won't be through autopilot that way, but it will be enrolled into Intune and it will get the devices that way. If you want to automate the entire Sphere going the Intune route into a hybrid Azure AD join, um, you should be able to use the same approach as outlined in this one uh, that I showed you earlier. 
it will just take much longer because the machine have to request an offline domain object. It has to be synced back up to Intune. The machine has to have the VPN client coming down to be able to completely uh, do that. Sounds like a lot of ifs and buts on that one. A lot of things that, that can and probably will go wrong. Um, hybrid join is in general something you should try to stay away from, but uh, as always, there are solutions to it. Um, I'll still say this would be a good start to, to research. And we can definitely help as well if, if you're interested in, in getting some consulting assistance around this area. It's just that not something I have a ready-made community solution for uh, to do this also with hybrid join.